News Channel, Colonel Oliver North is covering a major counter-terror operation and a joint Philippine task force and U.S. special advisors on the hunt for the Islamic terror group, terror group Abu Sayyaf. Colonel, what's happening? John, it was like hitting the jackpot in the global war on terrorism. It's one of the largest payouts ever in the Department of State's Rewards for Justice program. Ten million dollars paid out to four Filipinos who had provided information used by the armed forces of the Philippines for a successful military operation in which two leaders of Abu Sayyaf, the Islamic terror group, were killed. Gaddafi John Jalani and Abu Suleiman were wanted for killing scores of Americans and Filipinos. The identities of the recipients had to be kept secret to prevent reprisals, but the U.S. Ambassador to the Philippines, Christy Kenny, who attended the ceremony, described the recipients as brave citizens who had the courage to come forward. General Homogenes Esperon, the Chief of Staff of the Philippine Armed Forces, symbolized the success by dramatically crossing out John Jelani and Suleiman from a most wanted poster. Well, the man who's in charge of this part of this entire operation, Major General Raphael, Ruben Raphael, who is the commanding general of Task Force Comet, is also the senior military officer here in Sulu province, including this island. General, I've got to ask you, are the citizens of Sulu province becoming more helpful to your military in carrying out these missions? Yes, they are, Oli. As a matter of fact, uh, what was shown yesterday is just an example of how our citizens here in Sulu are providing us information on the locations and activities of the enemy. What's your biggest challenge that you face today in this war? Still the biggest challenge is finding, uh, neutralizing every leader, especially the Jema Islamia leaders, Dolmatin and Patek. This is the biggest challenge that we are now facing. When I, when I was here two years ago, the, the idea that a private citizen would come forward and help you and your military was unthinkable, and yet they do today. Yeah. What's changed? Well, uh, because of the good, excellent relations that uh, the people of Sulu and the armed forces that uh, have been uh, that happened, and then of course our troops have been, uh, you know, following our treaties. The our success is dependent of the patience, perseverance, and persistence that the, I, have, I have been imparting on them for the last nine months. That's what we have been following. Now, tell me, just between you and me. Have these special operations troops down here been helpful? Yes, they're very, uh, th these guys are excellent. They've been providing us with uh, great support on technical, medical evacuations, uh, small unit training, and of course on a personal basis, they're great. I hope they'll let leave us. <laughs> well, and they don't want to leave before the job is sure. done. Yes. Well, let's talk to the man who's your counterpart out here. Major Matt Whitehead is the commanding officer of this special forces camp referred to as Advanced Operating Base 150. Matt, what's the mission of your elite warriors out here? Fight the war? No, no. Our mission here is to provide advice and assistance to General Rafael and the Philippine military. Uh, we do that through a variety of means. We share military intelligence uh, with them. Um, we do a lot of things to help the local population, winning over the hearts and minds of the people. We do that with my Special Forces medics and his medics doing medical clinics, uh, veterinary clinics. We also have the good folks uh, from USAID down here making a real impact, uh, building roads, repairing schoolhouses. So all of our assistance that we render down here is all through by and with the Filipino military. When you say through by and with, I want to make sure that everybody back home knows that these, these really elite warriors are not doing the fighting. That's General Rubin's folks. The, the fact is, these guys are here to help make it happen. What's it like working with these fellows? It's very rewarding working with uh, such a professional, a uh, military like the Filipinos. Um, who better understands the situation down here in the southern Philippines than the Filipinos? So we make sure that everything that we do um, is, like I said, through, by, and with uh, them. They're the ones with the understanding of the situation uh, down here, in, and it's their solutions, Filipino solutions, for the uh, situation down here in Sulu. You, you describe this as an austere operating environment. You want to tell anybody you're back home how hot it is right here, right here, right now? Uh, it's very hot. It's very hot and humid, and uh, it's uh, not the weather we're used to back in Fort Lewis in Washington State, that's for sure. Right. Well, I, I want to tell you that I admire what you're doing. Anybody at home you want to say hi to? I'd love to say uh, hello to my wife, Gretchen, and my daughter, Georgia. Uh, I love you. I miss you both. 
Well, I will tell you, Sean and Alan, this is a remarkable teamwork that's been established here. I've watched General Raphael's troops out there working side by side with the Special Operations Forces here. Their extraordinary teamwork is what's bringing all of this hey. about, and their response to the civil military operations is incredible. Colonel, Sean, back responsible. to you. It means bearer of the sword, assassinations, kidnappings, extortions, and killing Americans. And Great work, Colonel. We'll uh, see you back. Safe home, my friend.